briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1988, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Honig v. Doe, addressing whether schools could expel disabled students due to their disabilities. At the center of the case were the San Francisco Unified School District and two emotionally disturbed students facing expulsion for their disability-related behavior. The school district's decision violated the Education of the Handicapped Act, EHA, which guarantees disabled children a free, appropriate public education and parental involvement in educational decisions. The lawsuit focused on whether the school district had breached the EHA and how the stay-put provision applied to disabled students during review proceedings. Justice Brennan's majority opinion emphasized the importance of the EHA in providing all handicapped children with access to education tailored to their unique needs and safeguarding their rights alongside those of their parents or guardians. The case shed light on the education system's shortcomings in meeting the needs of disabled students, particularly emotionally disturbed children. The court decided to affirm the Court of Appeals' judgment but modified the ruling that a suspension over 10 school days didn't constitute a change in placement. The Supreme Court was evenly divided on whether a court could order a state to directly provide services to a disabled child when a local agency failed to do so. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.